Hey friends, welcome to episode number four of the Myths of Christmas. Today's myth, three kings showed up on the night of Jesus' birth and brought gold and frankincense and myrrh. Well, that's not completely true. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that these were kings, nor does it say that only three wise men visited Jesus. But we often think that because according to Matthew chapter 2, there were three specific gifts that were given, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And so there must have been three different magi carrying each gift. So instead of three, it was likely more of an entourage of an unspecified number of magi from the east that visited Jesus. But Unlike our nativity scenes and Christmas pageants, these wise men didn't arrive on the night of his birth. How do we know that? Well, Matthew chapter 2 verse 11 says that Mary and Joseph were residing in a house when the Magi visited. He made no mention of a manger, and that gives us the impression that the family had likely settled down in Bethlehem after the census had been taken. Now, something else. Jesus was no longer a tiny newborn when they arrived. We know this because immediately following the visit of the Magi, Joseph receives a dream to take Mary and Jesus and go to Egypt. Now, the family fled by night, and they remained there until Herod was dead. Now, if the flight to Egypt occurred on the same night of his birth, Mary and Joseph wouldn't have been able to go and present Jesus in the temple on the eighth day, according to what the law of Moses said, which is narrated by Luke in Luke chapter 2, verses 22 through 24. So to summarize, though perhaps Eastern Orthodox celebrate the visit of the Magi on December 25th, and as I talked about in the second episode of the series, Jesus wasn't born on December 25th, and the Magi likely arrived a good while after Jesus was born, at least more than eight days after, likely a lot longer. I've got a couple of other videos on this topic if you're interested, and I've linked them in the description down below. Now, a more important question would be, why did these Magi from the East make a long journey all the way to Jerusalem to pay homage to Israel's king? Because remember, that's what this story is all about, the birth of the Messiah, the king of the Jews. A safe assumption would be that these wise men were not Jewish if they came from the Parthian Empire in the Persian region at the time. So, of course, many of Israel's enemies were from the east. I think of Persia and Assyria and Babylon and others. And the point that I think Matthew is trying to make in his gospel account, that the Jewish king is going to be recognized and lauded by the Gentiles. He's going to be honored by all the nations. This, of course, is what so many of the Old Testament prophets have to say, that the king of the Jews will rule over all the nations in the age to come, and that the Gentiles will come to the city of Jerusalem and bring their glory and their wealth into it to build it up. Now, while John would say in his gospel that Jesus came to his own and his own didn't receive him, Matthew presents a clearly eschatological picture pointing forward to the day when every tribe and tongue and nation comes to the land of Israel to pay homage to the Jewish king, Jesus. The story of Jesus' first coming isn't about God's rejection of the Jews and the starting of a new thing called the church. It's about the continuing story that will climax on the day of the Lord when the Messiah reigns in Jerusalem and all the nations flow up there to worship him and learn from him and from the rest of the Jewish people. And this is why Christmas is about so much more than gift giving and family and time off of work. We're beckoned to remember and to see these events as the gospel authors present them, as the continuing story of God's covenantal dealings with the nation of Israel and how he intends to bring all that he has spoken to pass. Well, there's more to come, so subscribe if you haven't, hit that like button down below, and share this video with your friends. May the Lord be with you, and I'll see you in the next one.